Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know you're only hearing me and not seeing me, but I decided to record a bit different this week. Um, I'm not gonna have any funny stories or any intro to share with you all. I just wanted to jump right into the video and show you guys how I made lamb and roasted Brussels sprouts with mashed potatoes. So to get things started, I started with my Brussels sprouts and I had over a pound of Brussels sprouts. As you can see, they are a lot of them, which is why I sped this process up. I cut the ends off and cut them in half. And this is what it looks like once I was finished. Then after that, I started to work on my russet potatoes. I had about seven of them. I cleaned and peeled them and then cut them in sections of four. And I also had to speed this part up as well. <laughs> so this is what it looks like once I finished um, cutting up the potatoes. Then I put them on the stove to boil. And while they were boiling, I also boiled my Brussels sprouts for about three minutes. Then I sauteed the Brussels sprouts in this Black Forest bacon from Trader Joe's. They season it with black pepper, I believe. But here you can see I'm rendering the fat from the bacon and I added some garlic to it. And I just let it render for a little bit to get that nice flavor going. And then, um, once the bacon starts to get a little bit crispy, I add the Brussels sprouts and there you can see the red onion that I've added to the Brussels sprouts. And I just saute it for about three minutes just to incorporate the flavor of the bacon and the garlic. Then I decided to add some red pepper flakes right at the end because I love when the sauce that I tossed the Brussels sprouts in is mixed with honey, so it's kind of sweet. So I love that balance of spicy and sweet together. So I decided to add some red pep pepper flakes. Then I had thought about adding my beloved vegetable seasoning. And then I said, no, nah, I don't need too, many, too much seasoning. But here you can see I changed my mind at the last minute and decided to add it. So now I transferred the sauteed Brussels sprouts to a baking sheet lined with foil paper and butter. And I broil it on high heat for about 10 minutes. And this is what they look like. Now we go to searing the lamb. So I start off with some garlic with some olive oil. And as you can see, the heat is super high because the little garlic is like popping out of the pan. I add some rosemary to get those flavors going. And oh my gosh, y'all, the oil was popping me. So <laughs> I had to like add the lamb pieces in at a distance. It was chaotic. So now I'm adding the lamb and I want to do this very quickly because you know lamb cooks very fast and I wanted, I was aiming to get a temperature of medium well on the lamb. So I had to quickly add all the pieces and I hadn't cooked this much lamb at a time before. So I, I wanted to make sure that each piece cooked evenly and you can see I'm like positioning each piece to make sure they have enough space so that everything is cooking evenly and I just saute it for a little while probably like two minutes on each side and then i start to add um butter so that i can base the lamb pieces with butter you'll see me add the butter in a little bit and my camera fell and i couldn't re-record it because the lamb had finished cooking um but somewhere after the butter has melted I add this tasty balsamic um, fig vinegar from Whole Foods that I found. It is so, it has like a hint of sweet yet tart flavor and it just adds so much flavor to the, to the lamb. I really love it. So I think this is the moment, like a little bit after this is when I add the balsamic vinegar and there's a picture 
of the type of vinegar that I use. You can find it in Whole Foods. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. And you only use a little bit at a time, so it'll last you a while. This is the picture of the balsamic vinegar that I mentioned earlier. And this is what the lamb looks like after you've braised it in the vinegar. This is how I plated the dish. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Here's how you do so. Bye.